What up? It's your boy T Bear here in the reaction. Today is Wrestling Wednesday. We will kick things off with some news and reaction by some big acquisition in two of my favorite sports. One of them being wrestling as well, too, though. Other, other one you'll, you'll know in a minute that I, when I get to it, though. And the big acquisition we got going on right now within wrestling is the official signing to WWE of former AEW uh, top lady star Jay Cargo. You know, Jay Cargo been killing it in um, AEW with the longest record uh, with the TBS title as well, too. I mean, you know, she was a heel. She was definitely hot commodity as well, too. So not too long ago, it was word that um, she uh, will be not renew her contract with AEW as well, too. And, you know, she made a little quick comeback to fight for her title back. And look, title back, that will end up being her last match, though. So... Jay, Jay's cargo signed a multi-year deal with WWE. E, um, so this is going to be a great acquisition as well too. A lot of folks has been speculating on, uh, have been speculating or everything with her as well too. One of them, one of them being hopefully a possible dream match against a uh, fellow, uh, Titan, fellow female top star Bianca Belair as well too. But anyway, she recently um reported to the uh, as she from pictures of she reports officially report to the uh Peace W C P C Performance Center in Florida getting a train done. So you know this is a good move for her as well too. Um, A D was a little stepping stone because she originally for most may not know she did originally try for W E and actually made it, but unfortunately because of the schedule conflicts at the time her daughter wasn't as was a uh, pretty young probably a baby at the time so. It was a lot of scheduling that couldn't work with her as well too. So there's that. Um, I remember hearing about her when the trial happened. Um, as one of her being one of the uh sign the tryout uh signees as well too. Um, um, I mean saying that this former uh basketball player, I think she was like a fitness model or a fitness trainer. E Rick, you see the physiques and everything, and you know she was hot, so I had to definitely check her out though. Um, but yeah, words that she uh did got signed, did did got picked up and made it. To, and did good in trials is she just declined it because uh, the schedule was working around too. So AEW was, work, was good work for her. You see the work she done in AEW was pretty good. So I'm guessing now, especially with her getting this multi-year deal, they are possibly uh, going to be working on it. Yep, I'm looking at it. Fit, fitness model, yep. Um, they working with her. Um, they probably be able to work with her schedule now. Plus her daughter being a uh, older age now. So it's not going to be too much of a hassle as well too. Um, so this will make her somewhat actually the third person that was like, or possibly fourth that was like on the AEW. Uh, that's, that was AEW as a signed person. Well, third as a signed, a signed person before uh, leave, and I'm heading to uh, WWE. No one previous that is uh Cody Rhodes. We'll say third person because he also um Brian uh Brian Pillman Jr. from AW is a star as well too. And this actually was a, bit, it was a vignette for him somewhat in the way of NXT, which with clips of him of a semi uh Cody channel change from uh Bengals practice to uh to the uh, beginning of a WCW uh, Sunday morning uh, classic uh, episode, so we didn't get any click that was Brian Pillman Jr. Cause you know his dad, w w that his dad, the late great Brian Pillman, was also had a uh, run, had a uh, football, a little bit of a football career, and um, with the Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals, and um, with Chris, you know, well known WCW and WFO too, but big time in WCW as Flying Brian Pillman. Pillman as well too had a, uh, a tag team with uh, Steve Austin, known as the High One Blondes as well too. To then later on before and then you know not too long um after that went to uh WWE for a good while before his untimely passing as well too. So yeah, but yeah I can't wait to see what uh Brian Pillman he's, he's definitely gonna be in NXT. I'm not sure they're say, saying that uh Jay might go straight to the main roster. Who know? A lot of people think she just do NXT first. Um, yeah, I'm okay with either way. I feel like WWE PC would definitely put 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 the work and she'll do good in there as well too. Cause you know a lot of folks had an issue with her um or being too green and how her she work in the ring though. So hopefully that won't be an issue. You know what I mean? They'll put in some work and she'll do real good. Now I just say another another big transition is happening in my in another frame of sports and that is basketball. And this is the big uh, as a big boss buster train a block buster blah 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 blockbuster trade happened with 
basketball point guard Dame Lillard as he is officially been traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. So yeah, then Dame been um voicing his uh voicing his way of wanting to be out of the Trailblazers for a minute though. Whoop, he finally got as rich as a big trade happened though. A big boss bust train that not only between between him and the Bucks, but also I mean him and the Blazers, but Boston Blazers, but also a third team as well too. So this was a a big three team trade to uh get to, to get um Dame Lillard on the Bucks. So here's the breakdown: the Bucks will receive Dame Lillard, while the Blazers will receive Drew Holiday. Make sure players from both the Bucks and the Suns. Blazers will receive Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, well as Tumani Kamari, uh, a future a future draft pick from the Bucks for 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, 29. And swap rights on the Bucks 2028 and 2020 and 2030 uh, picks, and the Suns will receive Yusef Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson as well too. So yeah, Bucks gonna be pretty good. I think everybody got some winners in this uh in this draft as well too. You know, Blazers picked up Drew Hall and then DeAndre, and you know Drew Hall was doing his thing as point guard for multiple team, including the Bucks. And DeAndre Ayton has been doing his thing as a center for the Suns. Uh, Nerd kick for the Blazers has been doing his thing. Grayson's been a great uh, backup shooting guard and point guard for the Bucks as well too. Um, I'm no no too little, I'm not too I don't know too little about this here little and Keon Johnson. But I'm not good. And goes you know the Bucks. Uh, Giannis and I got stuff with stuff a diamond duo with uh, Giannis and the Dame. So it's gonna be a good squad right there. Who knows? It could be Russ could, could be uh, a good contender for for another championship they win soon. Who knows? But anyway. And um, I say that this was um pretty good. Um, there's projected lineup already talking, so it's just a chance that Giannis will be going back to three for two playing the three that they expected because I doubt they had Bobby Portis playing the three. But the non projected line they got going on is Damon the point, Chris Milton the two, um the other rest the rest is Giannis, Bobby Portis, and and uh Robin Lopez, no Brooke Lopez. And I like I said, I doubt they're gonna have uh Porter play a three. Can you know play a, the small four days of life? So Giannis might be playing the small four again. So they're gonna have a, a pretty good lineup so for sure though. Um, unless they decide to move uh take put Porter back in the as a backup and uh, move somebody else to the two guard with Milton at the three and Giannis return re, uh resuming his uh four position. Who knows? But um, I'm a little man's right here. Um, drinking what about that run out. I don't want to get no gas. Ooh, we might get gas or anything. But anyway. So that being said, some great acquisition in sports going on in both the wrestling world with Jay Cargo signed with WWE. Can't wait to see her uh, debut. I hopefully, in my opinion, I feel like I feel like, feel like they need to keep her uh, a secret till she make her debut. No vignettes or nothing like that. I know they're doing Vince Pillman. That's pretty cool, but but that but let's keep her a secret a little bit till she make her a surprise debut. What do you think she might debut on? Do you think she's gonna debut in um, Royal Rumble or slightly before Royal Rumble? Poss I mean, it'd be too soon for Survivor Circle. Who knows? Um, y'all, let me know. And that's so. Let me know what y'all think about Dame Dame Litter joining Giannis on Takupo in the uh, Bucks, though. That'd be a good squad right there. Or who knows? I mean, could it be gel be a good duo, or could it clash? Could the Eagle be clashing? Who knows? Other than that. It's your boy T-Bear with some news and reactions. Signing off. One love.